Hello, and welcome to my presentation of the Slayers RPG for the Super Famicom with an English translation provided by myself and Dynamic Designs via a translation patch that we just released to the public recently. Um, I want to talk a little bit about this project today and uh, a little bit of the history of it. Uh, Dynamic Designs has been involved with this project for the past 10 months and has done a fantastic job uh, creating a really high quality, professional looking, professional sounding, professional playing translation patch. Um, my involvement with this project goes back to 2002, eight years ago, actually eight years to the day that we released the uh, translation patch for this game. Um, this became interesting to me when I started to discover that people were translating Japanese games into English, and I started to wonder how do you do that via the computer and a, and a ROM image of this game, how do you take a game that used to be in Japanese and actually get it to display English, and I found a patch that Robert Boyd had provided for this particular game, and began learning about the various techniques that you might use to to uh, do this with a video game, and I added some translation, some extra translated text to Robert Boyd's patch and released that. This uh, caught the attention of Chris RPG of RPG One, and that was a successful fan translation group at the time. Um, Chris had experience with working. Famicom and, and uh, Super NES CPU uh, assembly programming and such, and uh, we joined forces to make a translation for this, and it went uh, really well. It was a really fun several years, and um, uh, unfortunately, Chris Chris had health problems and, and he passed away uh, very tragically in 2007. Um, the project was uncompleted and uh, I started looking around for anybody else that might be able to help finish this project and Bongo stepped forward and his group Dynamic Designs uh, took on this project and did a, did a really awesome job. Um, so here it is. I apologize for the technical quality of this. Um, the capture software that I used to grab this video was not particularly good with the frame rate and the audio is also like way out of sync by the time we get to this point in the game, so my, my apologies. So these poor townsfolk have uh, been stuck with Lena Inverse, who they found passed out on the road before their town. They happen to be having some difficulties with goblins and hydras attacking their village, so they come up with this harebrained scheme in order to uh, take care of all of their problems at once. And I want to take uh, a moment to uh, compliment Wild Bill's fantastic rewrite of this script. I uh, translated the script uh, from Japanese myself, and I will be the first to admit that when I'm translating a Japanese RPG, really, I frequently find the original text even to be quite dry. And this game, more so than others, really has a lot of humor to it. And even the original game, though, has its dry spots. And having a, a rewriter like Wild Bill, somebody who um, has good writing skills and English skills and a sense of humor, and he's really able to uh, interject some personality and charm and humor, additional humor, into a script like this is, is really great. Um, Bill did a really good job, so kudos to him. Hope everybody really appreciates and enjoys playing this localization of this game that we have made. And I, just to clarify, I want everyone to know we um, the game is in no way anything original of ours. This was released in 1994 uh, by Ben Presto, and we merely have translated this game into English. Um, you may notice the graphics here uh, are nice, but they are maybe not anything to write home about. 
Um, and this is only a speculation, but when Bongo took, started taking a look at this code, trying to see, you know, how, how we could work with it, um, I, I want to point out this bold font here uh, that Bongo inserted. Very nice. Um, he mentioned to me that it, it seemed as though this could be a game that was originally for the Famicom, somebody know as the NES, uh, that had gotten, at some point in its development, moved over to the Super Famicom. So I like to think of it as a very nice looking NES game, rather than a mediocre looking Super NES game. Um, so here we're introduced to Connie for the first time. She is a character that you will not recognize from the anime. I don't believe that she has appeared in any of the OAVs or any of the TV series uh, that I know of. Uh, she does appear in the novels and the manga, and in this video game. Um, again, I apologize here, we're encountering the uh, audio. This is one of my favorite lines from early in the game, the uh, Lena complaining about the village of who kicked her down the hole. And this is um, the first status screen that we'll get there, that's just sort of a flash of it, but uh, in it there was scrolling text along the bottom, and that was actually a, a pretty significant technical and translation challenge. They really disproportionate to the rest of the project. It took quite a long time, and I want to thank AEN Nihem for helping me out with the translation on that. We have actually dedicated this project to her for her help on the project, uh, on other projects that I have worked on, and um, on other projects in general uh, that the world hacking community has, uh, has developed. So uh, thank you very much for her. Uh, here we see a little bit of the battle in the game. Um, we're, we're, I think we're going to see another uh, battle problem here, so I'll, uh, I'll mention a little bit more about that. Okay, I think I'm going to just skip this one, but uh, what we'll see at the top is um, the... Oh, no, actually, I guess we go ahead and do this one. Um, the icons along the top, those are all custom. Um, the Japanese game originally had kanji there. And kanji themselves being a pictograph, it's uh, efficient to replace them with an icon rather than text. It would have been very hard to fit very much text into those spaces. Troubles, but we're gonna run away from this battle here. This is our first encounter right at the beginning of the game with Naga, a favorite of the groups. Um, we debated about who we would feature on our splash screen opening, you may remember from the beginning. And our one was originally made up that featured Lena in verse. In fact, there were a couple with Lena, and then we did one with Naga, and it was a uh, unanimous thumbs up for Naga, so that's what we ended up with. But um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you check out this translation patch and have enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you soon.